Okay, we're on. Hey. Hi, everybody. It's Dara. And Herbie. Hi. Hi. And Herbie, for those of you who don't know, Herbie has gone organic vegan. Yes. As of July. So how many months? Well, that would be six. So it's now uh, nine months. Nine months. And when you hear about the raw vegan lifestyle or organic vegan or vegan, what does that mean to you? Do you know what that means? Somebody, a beautiful person today asked me, well, what do you eat? Like, where does your food come from? The food comes from the farmer's markets or Whole Foods. We stay in the produce department. We buy fruits and vegetables in season that look vibrant and gorgeous. And basically it's eating fruits and vegetables, lots of leafy greens, some nuts, some nut butter, some seeds, and that makes up a raw vegan diet. Right. And it's possible to exist. If you're not a raw vegan chef, it's still possible. Herbie's not a raw vegan chef, and I have not been making meals for a couple of weeks because I've been juicing. <laughs> Rejuice have just been delivering to me because I needed a, di a digestive break and I also needed a break from the kitchen to do some other projects. So Herbie has been on his own. So Herbie, would you care to tell them what you eat? What do I eat? Okay, I eat lots of fruit, or organic, 99% <clears throat> organic. Okay. <clears throat> uh, breakfast is usually a combination of some greens, mm -hmm. uh, uh, romaine lettuce, with sometimes even uh, a little uh, uh, what <laughs> almond butter. Almond or, butter, nice. Uh, or, uh, organic in the spine of the uh, romaine lettuce. Wow, and good I, word. Then I. Uh, Fold it over. Yes. And then I also have a, a half of a tomato with a little salt on it. Mm -hmm. uh, again, all organic. And, yes. Uh, and then um, I uh, enjoyed having a, an apple uh, and a, um, a pear and blueberries mm -hmm. and uh, um, also banana. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, I think uh, that pretty much is a pretty healthy, for me, pretty healthy uh, uh, breakfast and uh, my weight has been very stable in the last uh, couple of months, uh, give or take a pound. But or two. you lost. So tell them the benefits. Oh. You just covered breakfast, but if yeah. you want to share the benefits yeah. of this lifestyle, right? What has changed in the past number well, of months? You want me to finish the, the yes. menu? Yes. Good okay. idea. Hold on, hold on. I want to get you a glass okay. because I want you to have some green juice. Okay, go ahead. So finish your menu. Oh, okay, Very good. good. All right, and, and lunch. Uh, <clears throat> we can tell who's the more linear of the two of us. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Uh, uh, lunchtime is uh, usually can be anywhere from 12 to 2.30, uh, depending on whether I have an appointment for the uh, gym or a massage or a um, yoga lady uh, and uh, a couple of classes I go to and... Uh, and you know, there's always things to look forward to. And uh, mm -hmm. but so, uh, but uh, lunch would also be uh, making sure I get the greens, and I add besides the romaine lettuce again, is a couple of sticks of uh, celery that I wash very cleanly, mm -hmm. and I also put some uh, uh, tahini in the in the inside of the uh, celery, and that gives it a whole different taste, which I mm -hmm. enjoy. And, uh, and again, uh, if, uh, maybe some tomato, mm -hmm. and uh, then uh, at the end, which I, I left out a couple of things yet, but I also have a half a lemon, as mm -hmm. well as I eat the skin, uh, make sure it's washed. And uh, depending mm. what's in the refrigerator, uh, either like a cucumber, uh, which I uh, slice up, like with a little salt on it, very little, uh, because... It, um, I'm perspiring with the uh, sauna, and mm -hmm. uh, and so in order to get a little of the uh, salt back in, I, I make sure I have uh, whether it be tomatoes or cucumbers with a little salt on it to yes. put that energy back H in. Himalayan salt. Yeah, Himalayan. Go ahead. And uh, then in the evening, uh, now this is because Dara is not around, right? I like. I prefer to be making Herbie salads right. and foods and all um, kinds of things, which will be no. happening really soon. No. All right. uh, in the last uh, couple of weeks, I've been buying about uh, six or seven different kinds of vegetables, mm -hmm. and that, uh, I've been uh, chopping them up. And I think Dara even showed one or two of the pictures of it chopped up. 
and mm -hmm. uh, I bring it up to heaven. Up heaven. To her home. We're in heaven. Yeah. That's my home. That's From all the decluttering, we've right. created heaven. Oh, and now heaven's clean. <laughs> heaven's very clean and decluttered. <laughs> and uh, uh, and Dara adds her loving touch of the herbs and spices. Okay, so basically what Herbie then, does is in my Emile Henry clay pot, or any pot, he chops up sweet potato and, and celery and, and mushrooms and eggplant and carrots and, and onions and all kinds of things, whatever peppers. vegetables, peppers, and he fills the pot and parsley at the top and whatever he puts in. Then all I do is put a little bit of filtered water and I might grate some ginger, I might put curry, I might put garlic powder, onion powder, definitely salt, and I definitely put in coconut oil to give mm -hmm. it like a rich feeling. Mm -hmm. um, it's, Another it's, good thing if you weren't worried about being vegan is to use a little bit of ghee in, in that as well or olive oil, it's up to you. But I don't like heating anything else besides coconut oil or ghee. Now, go ahead. So that's what his soup. So he'll have, and that's a uh, vegan healthy. soup, obviously yeah. not raw, but and, beautifully uh, healthy right. and heartwarming. I usually have two bowls. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's, a, it's delicious. It's, it's the uh, food for royalty. <laughs> and uh, But I, I feel like a king when I'm eating it. That's uh, so sweet. Honest. So it's really cool because yeah. actually what works out really well is that Herbie fills the clay pot, leaves it at my door. I go downstairs, put it on the stove for 15 minutes. And because we have the Wonder Bag, which I'll post a link below, the pot goes in this cushion bag and I tighten it up and it continues to cook. So I put it on a stool next to Herbie's door so he can keep that in his home for when he's hungry and it continues to cook without me worrying about leaving the stove on mm -hmm. and burning something, which yeah. I do because I'm yeah. not accustomed to cooking yeah. these days. So that pretty much, and then uh, maybe sometimes uh, during the day if I feel like a, a a piece of a half of a pear or you know mm -hmm. some kind of other or you want to sit get your memory sure. going i'm going to check the no. sound hold on yeah. cheers well we're still on okay. okay and i mentioned to dara the other day that uh, on the did AOL. you finish dinner to your yeah. menu yeah you I finished did. dinner it's not anything else no, I... Um, Are you I having juices a, during the day? Do you have any juices? You're yeah, having well, turmeric? Yeah. yeah, in the morning I, I go out to uh, Moon Juice mm -hmm. and I have a turmeric with the black powder and uh, pepper and I, I think I put something else in it. To be it's lazy. turmeric, honey and ginger and some cayenne. So oh, that's yeah. for inflammation. If you have any arthritis or itises, turmeric is a wonderful anti-inflammation um, promoter and so Herbie's doing a shot of that he right. has green juices and, and then also I uh, take a spoonful of honey during mm -hmm. the day uh, yeah and, and you have dates sometimes. So yeah. what the point of this going through that whole thing is to tell you that it's possible if you're not a chef, it's possible if you're new to this diet, it's very simple. You open up Herbie's refrigerator and he keeps a bowl and there's half of a cucumber, half a lemon, half a tomato, half a thing of romaine, there's the tahini, there's the dates, there's the, the red cabbage, he slices one off, likes to eat that with, as a little snack, it's very easy. Mm. So now if you can tell them, if you would, there's other things besides food as this lifestyle, which we can talk about later or not. But right now, I want Herbie to say all the benefits that you can remember that, you, that have happened since you started eating organic vegan. Okay, all the benefits. Well, number one would be weight loss. Mm -hmm. I lost approximately 20 pounds. Uh, I was in the low 170s, and now I'm back uh, to... A little less than the high school weight, which is over 65 years ago. Wow. And uh, uh, I'm about 152 now, plus or minus a pound. Depending. Okay, that's more detailed. Yeah. We don't need to know. Okay. But, but the, the, I'm also going to post a link below to our Thanksgiving video two years ago, and you can see what Herbie looked like on the standard American diet two years ago and the difference now, and it's astounding because he's glowing, and every day I see him, I think, oh, my gosh, you look younger. You're like getting younger. It's the strangers I... up here, not me. <laughs> it's really amazing. I mean, it's vis it's visible. So we know that obviously you're walking better because when I was in New Jersey this summer, you could only walk two houses without being in pain. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And now that was my spinal stenosis now that's gone. In fact, uh, today is Wednesday. On uh, was it Monday? Monday. Monday. Uh, Dara was kind enough. She uh, what 
what would you call that? A it's cart? It's a cart. It's like a shopping cart. It's mm -hmm. called a play go. It's a go cart. It's like a cart that you put uh, vegetables in, in or so, when you go to the market. And so uh, we're about eight blocks from the Whole Foods. So I uh, walked over there with the cart, filled it up with uh, my purchases, and walked back. So. Uh, uh, didn't stop walking whenever I, you know. That's so awesome. Yeah. And, and walked and, around and, Whole Foods and yeah. saw people you knew and they knew you. Right. And you were also, um, you're able to go on, at the farmer's markets and walk around. Like, it's just the pain is gone. His also uh, the carpal tunnel. Well, yeah, that, that's the only thing that's left. And where I used to say it was maybe 75% dissipated, the pain and the frequency. Now it's about cut in half since I started uh, about a week ago with the turmeric uh, wow, drink. that's great. So, uh, but any little arthritis I had disappear. Uh, I may have had a little dandruff that disappeared. Your thinking uh, is clearer. I, I think my teeth are whiter. <laughs> your teeth are whiter, your eyes are brighter, and, and your thoughts are clearer. And also, uh, the, uh, whereas because with age, normally the spire, spine cord bends a little and I, I lost about three three and a half inches and now I think I got back I at least a, an inch back because uh, you're standing the, straighter the uh, right and uh, Denise and uh, the mm -hmm. yoga teacher uh, they working on my spine and loosen it up and mm -hmm. I, I think in fact whereas before some of the pictures you'll see that you look um, shorter than me, and now you're yeah, taller yeah, than me. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's great. You're growing. I think and it's frozen now. It is it? frozen. It's okay, yeah. but it's still going. I uh, checked, so okay. you can look at them. Okay. And hi, everybody. So here's the thing. What Herbie said to me that was very. He said a lot of things off camera that are extremely powerful. Well, how life is so different here as opposed to what it might have been without all of this stuff. That mm. that love is feeding him as much as the food mm. and the sunshine and then the friends and the new loved ones who are are really feeding you in a way yeah. yes and well, no question about mm -hmm. it I mean uh, the community that Dara is a big part of uh, I mean they no one drinks no alcohol mm -hmm. no smokers mm -hmm. uh, and people are the vast majority of them want to have better health and, and get younger and yeah. that, that that's great yeah. and uh, it's easy to make a contribution when you feel good and, uh, you are definitely contributing. Yeah. So the yeah. thing is also, is that you said something. Do you remember what you said about getting old or getting aging? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, as part of the aging process, it's like uh, your brainwash, so to speak. Well, gee, when you get older, you don't see too many people mm -hmm. who are really walking up straight and still playing tennis or, or whatever. Uh, what happens is, gee, you're coping, you know, like they keep telling you, old age isn't for sissies. You know, uh, you right. expect some pains, at least I did, and you, you learn how to cope and uh, it, uh, you know, you, you do the best you can. But the thing is, though, if you're really interested and want to get better health, and you really, I feel younger, is, is that get, you got to get with the program and no one can do yeah. it for you, no. that's for sure. And, uh, and it's now that I lost the vast majority of different things that were health-wise. <clears throat> and then, of course, we went to a higher stage. We started the colonics, mm -hmm. and, uh, which has been yes. very, very helpful. And uh, it, uh, so the life's, it's a whole new life. It, it, uh, yeah. uh, memory bank is a little better. I think that the, uh, it's unlocked some of the uh, different little chapters in my life way in the back now. They're, they're already accessible. That's good because I want to write more stories about Herbie. I want a Herbie documentary. So you better start remembering. And it's just so amazing. Like the lifestyle practices that we're referring to, I'm going to list them so this video isn't too long. Herbie sits in the sun every day. Yeah, Not forever, but a little bit each day. Between 15 to 20 minutes, depending on... That's it. Right. He's going in the infrared sauna, which if there's one near you, we highly recommend. It makes you get your, your toxins out from our body's largest organ, our skin. 15, 20 minutes in the sauna. We do... He, he was walking around, obviously eating a raw vegan lifestyle. Positive thoughts. He's looking for... He makes a choice to be happy every day. Um, and, and all the wonderful people who the you people. have the social intercourse during the day. I mean, so, it, uh, it's uh, great. Yeah. 
yeah, it's the people and it's it's positive thinking and it's and and there's more things I have to teach him. Dry brushing we haven't touched on yet. We haven't done the chia seed smoothies yet. He's going to start making his own smoothies this week. I'm going to show you on camera how to do that. And then of course that I'm 85, right? And, and Dara already is putting together plans for my 100th birthday party. That's for sure. <laughs> Easy. Like, I'm, I'm working on 115, but I'll, we'll do 100 first. But I, I have great plans for her because yeah. I wrote a memoir about our time together this summer with my mom. And it really greatly affected us, really in a mm -hmm. deep, deep way, especially with it's every person's choice. Like, it's our soul's choice. Do you want to do this? Mm -hmm. And and the, the magical things that have occurred since Herbie has decided to jump on the program has have been amazing. Mm. The serendipities are another benefit of this lifestyle. The, yes. the beautiful synchronicities and serendipities, almost as if there's angels washing out for you going, okay, yeah. you're on the right path. And it's, uh, in the, as a symbol, it's like someone's parting the waterways for us to walk on dry ground. Yeah, and we just walk around saying, wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so I have a memoir written about that. And then I think it's, you know, it'd be good to have a documentary about Herbie and how this can, this can happen at any step of your life. You can all of a sudden wake up to going, yeah, I get it now, and I'm going to do it. Cheers. So cheers, everybody. Just do one small new thing, like uh, a green juice. Yeah. Happy day. We love you. We certainly do. <laughs>